Cement Industry in India. Welcome once again to India Business Insights. Today we will be looking at the cement industry in India. Cement is a binder, a chemical substance used for construction that sets, hardens and adheres to other materials to bind them together. India was the world's second largest cement producer with production amounting to a distant 370 million metric tons in 2022. Before we bring you the story of this industry, we urge you to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel India Business Insights for more such videos. Also, make sure to press the notification bell. Let's understand the background of the cement industry. The invention of Portland cement usually is attributed to Joseph Aspdin of England who in 1824 took out a patent for a material that was produced from a synthetic mixture of limestone and clay. The history of cement industry in India begins in 1904 when the first cement factory was started in Chennai but was not too successful. but nevertheless india relentless in its attempts in 1913 to 1914 started the manufacture of portland cement on a large scale with dye indian cement co limited the world war 1 gave a much needed boost to the cement industry leading to the installation of six new plants during 1922 to 1923 with a manufacturing capacity of 5.59 lakh tons by 1934 there were about 11 cement companies out of which 10 merged into associated cement co limited in 1937 the dalmia cement group was formed which set up plants in bihar tamil nadu and punjab By the year 1947 there were 18 cement factories with a total installed capacity of a whopping 21.5 lakh tons. Cement is one of the core construction materials forming 15% of the construction cost. India has a long runway for cement demand growth as it upgrades its infrastructure and housing. The cement market which is in India reached 3,644.5 million tons in 2022. Looking forward, IMARC Group expects the market to reach 4,832.6 million tons by 2028, exhibiting a growth rate that is CAGR of 4.94% during 2023 to 2028. The Indian cement sector accounts for about 1.2% of the country's GDP and employs more than 0.5 million people. Top 7 cement producing countries in the world. India has been the world's second largest cement producer since many years. Its current cement production capacity is 540 million tons per year with production of 356 mtpa in 2022. India accounts for over 8% of the global installed capacity. Let's talk about cement industries which are located in India. India has a total of 210 large cement plants out of which 77 are in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan and Tamil Nadu. Nearly 33% of India's cement production capacity is based in South India, 22% in North India, 13% in Central and West India and the remaining 19% is based in East India. Now let's talk about increased cement prices. Affected by the COVID-19 and the Ukraine-Russia crisis, cement prices have increased significantly over the last 2 years, with manufacturers passing on the input costs, a hike in crude oil, pet coke, and non-coking coal prices. There has been over a 20% hike in cement cost. According to Namura Global Markets Research, with every 10 per ton dollar increase in coal costs, the per unit operating expense of cement companies grows by rupees 50 per ton, which would require a rupees 3 per bag price hike to maintain margins. Resultantly, cement suppliers across India have hiked prices. while in delhi the prices are are around 10 to 15% more 
Chennai has witnessed an average growth of nearly 13% year on year. The cement price in Chennai is rupees 520 per 50 kg bag. As per industry experts, a rupees 50 hike in cement pri- cement price in chennai is likely to increase the per square feet construction cost by rupees 20 key players in the cement industry in india the cement capacity in india is well distributed none of the players except ultra tech currently have more than 10% capacity with the recent acquisition adani will control 15% of the total capacity There has been a multi-decade trend towards consolidation in the industry. Cement consumption drivers, housing and infrastructure. The cement demand comes from four key consuming areas that is industrial and commercial use, urban housing, infrastructure and rural housing. The last two have been the most important in the recent past. Now let's discuss about favorable factors to market growth. First, oligopoly market where large players have partial pricing control. Second, as per ICRA, cement production in India is expected to increase by 12% year on year driven by rural housing demand and the government's strong focus on infrastructure development. Third, Since capital expenditure outlay was hiked to rupees 10 lakh crores in budget 2023 to 2024 this will have a positive impact on infrastructure and cement industry fourth outlay of pm awas yojana increased by 66% which translates to 79590 crore rupees this will also have a positive impact on the real estate and the cement industry Now let's understand the key risks in the cement industry. There are a number of constraints and bottlenecks which are hindering the growth of the core sector industry. A few of the major concerns of the industry are mentioned below: coal price variation and high cost, high cost of transport, fleet utilization and route selection inefficiency, fuel cost impact, cash discount and other discounts which includes prompt payment discount. revenue leakage through price change debtors performance high plant maintenance and cost impact disablers impacting the throughput of the plant exemption limit of the capital gain under section 54 and section 54f is said to be 10 crores this will have a negative impact on the real estate industry now coming to the limestone mapping in india India has 200 billion tons of limestone reserves which is more than 500 times annual consumption in north india rajasthan has abundant limestone reserves that is more than 20% of overall indian production in the south while karnataka has the highest amount of reserves even the other states andhra pradesh telangana tamil nadu etc have decent reserves it is one of the key reasons for south india being a fragmented cement market now let's look at the cost structure here is a brief look at the cost structure of the cement industry companies with strong ability to optimize logistics and energy costs are likely to do better than others the industry has witnessed cost pressures in recent years here are some details of the cost structure first raw material Here is a quick look at the various raw materials used in the various types of cement. The raw material cost for the three types of cement does not vary too much. Second, power and fuel cost. When we look at these charts and the previous charts, we notice that the power and fuel costs are significantly higher than the raw material costs, particularly for ordinary Portland cement (OPC) and Portland pozzolana cement. PPC. Now let's come to freight and logistics. We also notice that the freight and logist- logistics cost is also generally higher than the cost of raw material and is a very significant cost element. Other costs which includes packaging costs, advertisement and marketing, other overheads. And this is the total costs. Now let's look at Adani's investment in the cement industry. 
on 16th May 2022, the legendary business tycoon Gautam Madani won the race to acquire a major stake in Ambuja Cement, which was 63.1%, and ACC, that was 54.5%, for $6.4 billion. As soon as this deal got finalized, Adani became the second biggest cement manufacturer in India. Adani Group's competency in driving operational efficiency will result in significant margin expansion to become the most profitable cement manufacturer in the country. Anticipate going from the current 70 million ton capacity to 140 million ton in the next five years. We have covered Ambuja Simmons, which is now part of the Adani Group, in a separate video. While cement costs have been rising in the recent past, the industry has not been able to pass on these cost increases fully. Attempts to increase the prices of quarter 4 financial year 2023 had to be reversed with discounts and incentives. This has kept the profits of the cement industry somewhat subdued. While India is the second largest producer of cement in the world, its per capita consumption is just 250 kg compared to 1,600 grams of China. Notwithstanding this, the cement industry in general, notwithstanding this, the cement industry in general is in good shape. Most of the larger companies have paired their debts, have excellent credit ratings. Plants that were owned by V groups have over the last 20 years been sold to financially strong groups. Here is the crystal rating of key players in the cement industry. Most of the large players in the industry have excellent financials and very high credit ratings. They all have the ability to raise large funds to make significant acquisitions and invest in capacity expansions. This strong health of the industry augurs very well for the long-term growth of the industry. Thank you so much for watching this. If you like our content, like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the notification bell for the latest updates.